We're at New Fira Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the thrills. Ah, it sure does get cold here in Snuffalo. Did you know that when the MFL first started, its very first season, a Snuffalo player suffered a high quarters ass capitation? Yeah, it was it was seven when it was tackled and, and it froze before it hit the ground. And thus the saying was born to freeze one owns ass up. Let's play some football. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Nashville Lycans battle. The Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? central nervous system stopped functioning. So I can't really blame this guy for the fumble. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, I'm not just damn it happens to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and 10. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See, and there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Third down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down and never going to happen. Offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven.
third down and the punter is warming up. That's a six yard gain on that catch. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems like it. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll be second and eight to go. And a hard run there picks up the first down. First and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a... And Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and eight. And that is caught for a first down. up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that he drops it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And that'll bring up third and one. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And I don't want to see the comment section on that replay of the kick. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. <laughs> And it's first and ten. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. It's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and five. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Oh, with the punishing hit. The fans are looking a bit bored. After a quarter with no score, they're cheering on the refs. <laughs> At least someone's moving the ball. 
And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. the ball into the defense picking up seven second and three man what a hit that was and it's first and ten Second down in a lot. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down and, well, good luck. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third and two. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. play went nowhere fast. No gain. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Ah, Philadelphia! And it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. 
Second down and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now wants him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. <laughs> nice pick up for six yards. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> he dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit shit. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Oh, boy, there. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip tea show? Where are we going? Hey, why don't you sell down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Second down and more than the QB would like. And there's an eight yard catch. Keeping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, 
that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And like a monkey trying to fuck. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> it's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can wrap up the other half and save it from the... Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and ten. <laughs> Second down and long. <laughs> and he punched his way out of that tackle. A nice run there for eight yards. down and three <laughs> looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick that's a whole lot of player right there oh welcome to fumbletown usa population this guy boy he should be more careful when he hurdles And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Like a 
like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and eight. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and five. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and eight to go. And how about a little dirt sandwich? Ooh. Second down and nine. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Most of these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. Second down, and he offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Third down and forever. If you don't hear it coming, oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lips. The defense saw that play coming a mile away and snuffed it out on fourth down.
And it's first and ten. The quarterback finishes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. He had it for a second there. Third down and five. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is gonna get ugly. He could go all the way. He's running out of gas now. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle, fat, organs, and skin really makes it easy for him to dance. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. First and ten. Oh my God! The defensive player looks like he's looking. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, "Who's next?" Boom! Dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my slime. Oh, he just made mincemeat out of that guy. Hey, what is mincemeat anyway? Is it like bologna? Sandwich. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. And he 
gets three yards on that run. And with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. Third down and six. Hot, hot one. And they run it for a couple of yards. And no more timeouts. The D needs to stop. This is intense. No, Grim. Camping is intense. <laughs> Get it? Idiot. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that. The sniffle thrills win it home. And these guys are usually freezing their footballs up, but today their balls were the biggest. It was a brutal battle of attrition, but they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field. Yeah, and giving the ref a few bucks didn't hurt the cause either. Well, it hurt my cause. I had a saw buck on this fucking game. The game's most valuable player is about to speak. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhawk Corporation. Make it a right every up.